Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, the Pontiff on the Paul Pluto channel. Quick, quick, quick whist watch check. Panic! No! Rolex! <laughs> Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can uh, this is a a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com the last bastion of free speech on the interweb go there guys hey guys it's Archie Luxury Archie Luxury today I'm doing a paid review this is paid review 21 QA 30 hello pontiff it's now dawn thank you uh, before we go on, let's just do a quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Explorer 2 Polar. This is the 42 mil. I hope you are safe and well. Uh, please use Tyler from Texas, as I prefer to remain under the radar. I've been collecting for a few years and would like your opinion on my current state. And where I should go from here, I am self-confessed addict and change watches at least once daily. Pick attached, second pick includes my IWC Aquatimer, my least favorite watch, and do not wear it. Missing is my Patek Nautilus 5990, as it's in for service, chrono jammed after six months, or were purchased from an AD uh, some ideas of future purchases are new Sky Dweller on the uh, o Oyster Flex, yellow gold, black, or rose gold with rhodium, white gold, blue sub, black dial 2020, or possibly a Zeitwerk or white gold Odysseus. It's the Lung A. My favorite watch in. Watch is the Lange Datagraph Perpetual followed closely by the Meteorite Dial GMT. Please let me know your thoughts. Tyler from Texas. Well, there we go. That's Tyler. Ah, uh, what do I say here? Well, this is a pretty damn amazing collection. That's for sure. It is pretty damn amazing. We have got a lot, a lot of moolah invested in this collection here. And... You know, I, I think that's great. If you love the watches, you've got to... Um, it's it's a great hobby to have. Wrist watches is a cool hobby to have there. Um, okay, what, what what do I think of this collection? That's that's a that's a very very good question. Well, it's pretty damn amazing. I got to tell you, it's pretty damn amazing. Um, okay, what what sort of recommendations do I have there look 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 I gotta tell you I when I look at a collection you know I kinda I, I look at it and I think to myself do you cover the bases the bases are do you have a diver a GMT a chronograph some dress watches some steel stunners etc etc Etc. So that's what I kind of look at when I when I see a collection. I want to make sure you covered all the bases for all the types of occasions. So looking at your collection there, it is pretty damn amazing. It is pretty damn amazing. I'm just looking at it on my. Oops, no. Just hang on. Hang on. Tick there. Oh, I can see it now. Oops, no. Okay. 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 I think. I think what you have there is pretty damn amazing. Now, I, I got to be totally honest with you. You've really hit it, hit it out of the ballpark. What do we got here? Well, 
Let's have a look at this. So, so, so. Firstly, uh, my commiserations. Be careful. The paddock is a. That's an amazing watch. Just be careful how you use those functions. If you're not, um, just just be careful. It's a, it's, a, it's expensive. It's delicate. It's a. It's just be careful. Um. Uh, now, looking at this collection here, I got to tell you, I quite like the IWC Aqua Timer. Uh, I, I quite like it. I mean, I, I think the important thing we can look at your collection. What do we see here? We see a very strong Rolex backbone. That's kind of the foundation. And we've got, okay, we've got a few little interesting things there. So uh, let me, let's just explore that, that, that further. Uh, obviously, you've got the Patek Norlis 5990. Now, i got to tell you, the 5990... That's a kind of a look at me watch. It's kind of a very, uh, it's a great watch. I I would say if you've got a fifty nine ninety, which is a chronograph and it's a uh, what's it? It's it's it, it's a it's a travel time fifty nine ninety. Uh, they they are they're a pretty amazing sort of piece there. Travel time and a chronograph. Um, I, I, I think they're, they're very cool. Very, very, very cool. Uh, big money. Big, 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 big money. That's a very hot, <laughs> very, 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 very hot. What are they going for? Just checking chrono. Just checking the chronos out. Chrono 24, they're, they're about a hundred thousand dollars. Well, it's a fair bit. It's US money too. Real money. So, that's that's a great great that's an amazing piece i would tend to say you know what with your collection there i would probably add a i think another patek which is you know a very worthy contender would be a patek 5130 that's actually the previous model world time so you've got my world time which is a 37 mil the 5130 is a 39.5 then the, the new the current model is a 5230 and it's 38.5 I think the 5130 could be a great sleeper. I think that would be a beautiful watch to have. So you have the, the Nautilus and you have a precious metal world time. So I, I would definitely say that is a, a beautiful thing to add there. Looking at the collection, okay, let, let, let's let's have a look here. So, so I've got to be honest with you, I quite like the IWC. I think... It's a bit pretentious to say you don't like it, you don't, you don't wear it, you don't. Well, I think it's, I think it's a, it's actually quite a nice watch which fits in. So let's have a look here. So firstly, we got the the green sub, the solid yellow gold green sub, yellow gold with the green dial sub, Daytona, Daytona, not a sub, it's a Daytona, Daytona. That's one of the hottest sports Daytonas. Very big bunny, and it's selling for a massive premium. Beautiful watch. Then I see we've got a rose gold on a leather strap, a Daytona, which is absolutely beautiful. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <clears throat> Green Dial Daytona, absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful then we've got a rose gold on a leather strap I actually love these Daytonas that are on the leather straps I think very classy I love the gold clasp absolutely stunning then we've got a two-tone Daytona two-tone Daytona black dial gorgeous 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 then we've got a panda which is obviously it's absolutely stunning so we've got four Daytonas uh, amazing. That's kind of like a collection in itself. Then, we've interestingly enough, uh, we've got a Cellini. We've got a Cellini dress watch in, I think it's rose gold. And i got to tell you, it looks absolutely stunning. Black dial, black uh, alligator strap, 
rose gold, big size, it's really quite beautiful. Normally, I don't recommend Cellini, but looking at this photo, it, it looks gorgeous. Uh, then you've, of course, got the Datagraph. My God, the Datagraph. You've got the Datagraph Perpetual, which is, it's just uh, absolutely amazing. Let's not uh, <coughs> mince words here. That is an absolutely amazing. So this is a Perpetual Calendar Chronograph, which is, um, how do I put it? It is absolutely amazing that's an amazing that's kind of a super super grail watch uh, now interestingly enough we'll just talk some bit more non rolex you've got the iwc aquatimer which i think is great it's on a it's on a rubber strap it's just casual and simple i i wouldn't get rid of it i think it it fits in beautifully you've also got a we've also speaking of uh Speaking of beautiful things there, we've got a, a blank pane. It's a very much a ceramic blacked out blank pane, which is different. Blank pane chronograph. And then we've got some Rolex. And I like this. I think every man needs a couple of steel Rolex. So what have we got? We got the we got the James Cameron. James Cameron, which is just a legendary diver, the biggest, the baddest. Then we've got a uh, we've got a 39 mil Explorer One, absolutely just a, a knockout, just wind and wear, wind and wear. Then we've got a uh, a Milgauss GV. I love the Milgauss. We've just got the polished center links. It's it's just a very classy. I've just got a Z Blue myself, and I I, I do love the black or the Z Blue. They're both amazing. Then next to that we've got a Scott sorry, we've got a yes, yeah, Sky Dweller. The Sky Dweller, steel with white gold bezel, and we've got the blue dial that's very, very difficult to obtain. So it's it's a knockout. And then right next to that we've got the meteorite dial. Um which is it's just a gorgeous Pepsi, the Pepsi meteorite dial there. Look I've got to tell you, you've got a nice mix there of uh, steel. So, so we look at this collection here. In the Rolex segment, we've got how many steels? We've got the Sky Dweller, Sky Dweller, Milgauss, Explorer One, James Cameron, and we've got the Panda. So five steel sports. Then we've got some. We've got some. We've got two. Well, we've got. Solid gold, we've got four. We've got the uh, the Daytona with the green dial. We've got the meteorite dial Pepsi. We've got the rose gold Daytona on the leather. And we've got the Cellini. So that's also fairly, fairly cool as well there. Um, I've got to say, this collection is, is I mean, do, do you need anything? Do does, when you've got a collection like this, what do you really need there? Uh, as I said there, I'd probably get a Patek World Time. I reckon a Patek, the 5130 is a great watch to add there. Uh, some idea of future purchases are the new Sky Dweller on the Oyster Flex. Uh, I gotta be totally honest with you. I, I don't know if that would, you don't need it. I don't think you need it. See, you've got the Sky Dweller on the bracelet. I mean, do you really want it on the Oyster Flex? You've got some rubber and leather in other pieces. No, I don't think you need that. Uh, the other thing you're looking at is a white gold, white gold uh, sub. Uh, I don't know. Don't, I don't know if you really need that because within our divers we've already got, we've got the James Cameron. I don't know if you really need, I think you're just getting a bit bored there. The Zeitwerk. Zeitwerk is an amazing lung, eh? That's the one that has the... It's not digit. It has got the digit, the numbers, the numbers. It's very interesting, very interesting piece there. Uh, the Odysseus? No, forget the Odysseus. To be honest with you, I really think the Odysseus, unless you can get that at retail from your AD, forget it. Forget it, forget it, forget it. That's... Uh, my advice there. 
Um, I gotta say, I I think the collection itself, wowzers! It's a super collection. I I really don't know if you really need to add a hell of a lot. It's got all your bases covered. Beautiful, gorgeous watches. Amazing pieces. These are not just uh, normal people pieces. These are absolutely, positively amazing. So, my own opinion, what would, what would I do there, seriously? What would I say? Well, you've got plenty of Rolex. Got some Long A, some Paddock. You've got some, some interesting brands there. Um... I, I would say, look, I, I would I, I think the only thing I could really say to you to add there, I mean, you can add whatever you want. You, you don't have to, 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 but you don't have to add anything. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I, I would say, I think, I think a Paddock World Time would be amazing because it gives you a precious metal, amazing, it's a complication that is just gorgeous. It's Paddock's forte. So that's, that's what I would seriously do there. You've got a great collection. Nothing needs to be added. You can do whatever you want. You want to add more Rolex? Add it. You don't? Hey, nobody is forcing you. Personally, looking at it, I I, I would, you know, I, I don't think I'd ever be able to afford a collection like this. This is an amazing collection. But, you got to do what I you don't you don't need anything. I don't think you need anything. I think the world time. I'm pushing the world time because <clears throat> I think that'd be a beautiful thing to have here. Maybe a Khaleesi dial. That's the hand painted world time. That'd be a fifty one thirty one. Maybe that would be because everything is in here is amazing. So I got to be honest with you, Tyler. Uh, it's a great collection. It's amazing. I. You don't have to add anything. You can, you can, the pontiff has said it's beautiful. So, yeah, yeah, there, there you go. That's my opinion. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Tell me what you think. Put some comments below. Guys, I can't survive on Google Ads. I really need these paid reviews to keep me going. This is what keeps me making content is the paid reviews. Guys, look down below in the description. See how you can organize a review. I would really appreciate a paid review, 50 US dollars. I'll tell you what I think. If your collection is perfect, I'll say, hey, you don't need anything. i tell you the truth. But this collection here, amazing. It's damn amazing. I absolutely, what, 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 what's, what's not to love about this? This is more than enough. Okay, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.